Ladies and gentlemen, artificial wombs and lab-grown babies are here. Ectolife is the world's first artificial womb facility. Artificial wombs are artificial environments that can be used to incubate a fetus outside the body of a woman. It is stated that almost 50 years worth of groundbreaking scientific research is behind this institution, which has the capacity to develop 30,000 newborns each year. Additionally, it gives parents the ability to determine their child's characteristics. The advent of lab-created artificial wombs has been met with both excitement and apprehension. On one hand, this technology has the potential to revolutionize fertility treatments, allowing women with infertility issues to conceive and bear children. On the other hand, the ethical side of this move raises a number of questions about the implications of such a technology. So let's take a deeper look at this artificial womb facility. Hashem Algali is the man behind Ectolife. He claims that this facility will make it possible for infertile couples to conceive a child and become the real biological parents of their own children. So that's the goal behind this project, to allow infertile couples to have a child of their own. This facility is based in Berlin, and it can birth 30,000 children in a year. And this isn't just a facility where you go give your DNA and get a child after 9 months. It feels like they are trying to replicate the whole experience of pregnancy but in a lab setting. So your baby will grow in a pod and that pod will have a lot of sensors attached to it. And your baby's pod will be connected to an app. This means that parents will be able to look at their child whenever they want. Since everything will be recorded, they'll be able to play a time lapse of your child's growth. And they somehow manage to attach virtual reality with the whole process. The pods in the facility will have a lot of sensors, and one of those sensors are motion sensors. And if you use their haptic suit and wear virtual reality headset, you'll be able to see your baby in virtual reality and experience their kicks via haptic suit. And don't forget their elite package powered by CRISPR technology that allows parents to choose their baby's characteristics like skin and hair color, height, strength, and intelligence. Honestly, this is very weird. And this project is something that seems straight out of a sci-fi universe. This Ectolife project has raised a lot of eyebrows. On one hand, this technology has the potential to revolutionize fertility treatments, allowing women with infertility issues to conceive and bear children. On the other hand, the ethical side of this move raises a number of questions about the implications of such a technology. First, there is the issue of safety. Artificial wombs may offer a safe and effective way for women to become pregnant and carry their children to term, but they also carry risks. The technology is still in its infancy, and there are many unknowns in terms of potential side effects or complications that could arise from using an artificial womb. Additionally, there is concern over who would be responsible for any medical complications that arise from the use of an artificial womb. Finally, there is the ethical question of what rights would be given to any child born from an artificial womb. Would such a child have any legal rights or protections under existing laws? Would they be considered a real person or just a product created in a laboratory? These are all important questions that must be addressed before lab-created artificial wombs can become widely available. In conclusion, while lab-created artificial wombs offer exciting potential for women with infertility issues, it is important to consider the ethical implications before moving forward with this technology.